The mousetrap car comes with a couple of different challenges. When building, the students love to build and they really get into it and they can do it fairly quickly. One of the things I'd suggest you add that's not included in your parts diagram is we found that by taking one of the small uh, gray metal pieces, you can actually keep the wheels on a little bit better by simply placing it onto the end. It doesn't affect the wheel mobility, but it does keep the wheels from constantly falling off, which is what we found happens. The other thing is, it's hard for the students to get the uh, white string to attach the mousetrap to the actual car. They generally eventually get it, but it does take some time, so be prepared that it will take a little while. When attaching the last string, which is your nylon string, we found that a simple way to attach it is to take and simply knot the end of it so you have a small loop. And with that loop then, you can take it and you can simply stick it under the mousetrap. And this gives you a pressure point basically that you can pull on and you can attach your string through it instead of having to tie it off on that end of the mousetrap. So when you pull that loop through, it then gives you a way to quickly lift this because this is what the students are going to be doing with the axles. So once that's in place, you can then take, or the students can take, this string and then they do tie it off on the back axle. and then they are ready to go. So they'll wind up the back axle, and a lot of times I suggest that they have a second student work with this because it can be a little tricky to get it wound right away. Um, but once they get it started, uh, it winds very nicely each time. And as soon as it's wound and the trap is set, then the students can start experimenting with their mousetrap cars, which they love to do. One of the purposes of this activity is, again, to calculate uh, average speed, and so they have to test it multiple times, and they get pretty good at it. You will experience some issues with breakage, and once that happens, then um, sometimes I find it easier just to go around the room and help them fix, um, but they get to the point where they can fix it as well.